So I'm going to show you how to do loose waves on your hair using a curling iron. So I'm going to start by taking our model's hair and making it into two sections. And I usually start that section at the recession point. And I will travel to the other side, or the, uh, to the other recession. And those will be my two sections. I have already pre-treated her hair with a uh, heat treatment that has a little bit of hold to it as well. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna actually spray a little bit more of that throughout. So, to get a bigger wave, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take long sections, horizontal sections, that are about the width of your curling iron. I'm going to use a curling iron about one and a quarter inch. If you don't have a curling iron, this is a great size to do. It's really universal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the curling iron, I'm gonna touch it to the top of my section and I'm gonna wrap my section around, starting at the root going to the tips. Because I'm taking kind of an unusual section, I'm not using the clamp. And I'm just gonna warm it until the outside of the hair feels warm. There's no specific time, no 10, 15 seconds. That'll vary uh, depending on your hair type and the kind of curling iron you use. And then I'm gonna drop that. I'm actually gonna just quickly pin it to the side of the head. And then I'm gonna move on to the section that's right below that. So you can see when you pull it down, it gives you a big S curl or a big wave. So I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way through the back of the head. Uh, keeping in mind that the part that you're really going to see with the wave is up top. So I'm not going to spend too much time getting too perfect about all the rest because I know they're all going to form together and create beautiful soft waves. Okay, so I just finished up the whole bottom layer. Spin around so you can see. You can see it's just a very soft little loose, almost like a beachy curl uh, going through. If you wanted a quicker way to do this, you could just do this if you had relatively smooth hair underneath to the top section that I'm going to do now. Or depending on where your layers are, just do it uh, low enough to cover all the bottom parts. Especially because this is not a super volumey look. So now I'm gonna move on to right here by our face. I'm gonna bust this into two sections. And this is where it's okay to get a little bit more wave, because we always wanna bump everything up that's around our face. But I'm just gonna do the same technique, taking me my horizontal sections that are about as wide as my curling barrel is, and heating them from root to tip until they are warm, and then just dropping them down. Now because I want these a little bit more curly, I'm not going to break them through with my fingers. I'm just going to kind of hold it in my hand. And doing this, kind of scrunching it, makes your hand take out all the heat before you drop it down. So I'm just going to leave that, and I'm going to move on to the section that's right on top of that. Remember, you start lying the barrel on the top of the hair instead of going under like we traditionally do. If you get a little piece that springs up, that's fine. Just go ahead and take your finger and cover it. The hair isn't too hot. You could also use just a more traditional curling wand to do, to do this. Um, and also if you have a curling iron that has a tong on it or a clamp on it, you can just remove the kickstand to it. And the kickstand is actually two screws. And you unscrew it and take the whole clamp off. So I'm just gonna continue doing this on either side of the part. Okay, so we're back and I have finished the entire top section doing the same techniques I did earlier. Turn around so you can see. And then for these, I've let the curls cool in their shape without raking through. So then, I'm actually gonna have, just run my hands through them, loosen them up. This is a great, just kind of everyday look. This can also be used if your texture is maybe a little bit tighter than that to loosen up even further. 
or if you already have a natural wave to just accentuate them. Now I just took a brush that's all natural bristles and I'm just gonna brush through the hair. And then I'm gonna take, and then I'm gonna take a little nourishing oil, squirt that into my hand and just rake it through. And that's a really simple technique to create loose waves. Mm -hmm.